Hello and welcome everyone to this lesson 6.2 where it's all about snapping or let's say like topology. When we are dealing with polygons, lines and even points, topology is a quite important fact. You can see here that uh, the land use layer has no overlaps, right? Because there shouldn't be any dual competing land uses at one place. And um, yeah, that's that's topology all about, like sharing borders, having no overlaps, having no intersects between features. And uh, QGIS comes with some topology tools that enables you to work efficiently with the data so you don't have to digitize it by hand and take care so much. And one of these tools is the snapping toolbar. You can right click on your working window here and uh, enable it by snapping toolbar or you can go to um, project snapping options and you will be presented with a dialog like this. This is the advanced configuration. Sometimes you only see this or even just this. So don't be scared if you cannot see all the um, all the layers and turn on and turn off all the different um, snapping options there. What we will do is we will avoid or we will enable this avoid overlap um, property here for the land use layer as we will work with the land use layer right away. So close this one. You can also adjust it by going to this button here, advanced configuration, open snapping options, and you will pre present it with the same dialog. And um, first of all, we will enhance or we will add a new layer here, right? Um, so enable the editing, click on add polygon feature, and you can see now that the that this uh, yellow pointer, yellow cursor option, is snapping to the next vertex, vertex or to the line. So it follows the line when I'm following here with my cursor. If we go to the snapping option and say, well, I would like to have like 25 pixels, right? What would, it, what would this do? Of course, it will enable that the snapping occurs even if I'm just near the um, location of choice. So I will go with the uh, snapping options. If it's too coarse or too fine, this value, just play around with that. So 12 is quite cool already. But if you would like to be faster in digitizing, maybe enhance or increase this value. So we will just add a new feature. It's imaginary, so we will not really take care whether it's a new forest or not. OGC FID should not be null, that's why he was complaining. So, okay, and there it is. So this is now the land use layer, and please make sure that you have um, some sort of backup for the um, for the rule-based render in my case. So I'm now using just no filter option. I can remove it afterwards. So, okay, and this is now the snapping up. Um, extension. What we can do as well, we will take care of this stretch of land. So if I'm disabling land use layer, in the current situation, in this piece around Swellendam, there was a reforest program, reforesting program uh, in this area. So we will enhance this polygon to meet this one. And as said, we have enabled the snapping option. So let's use the vertex tool. And now we can see that the vertices of each polygon are highlighted. And we will just move it over so that we will meet the next vertex on the other side. So not on the line, because if you place it on the line, you will just Add a new vertex where it's not needed, really. So there we are.
And now we have a self intersection here. And that's it for the moment. So now we have connect we have a, um, a very good bordering uh, with the uh, with the accompanying polygon on the other side. And that's quite good. But you can also use the add polygon feature. So if you need to create a new one, let's assume you have a digitized or you need to digitize the forest over here. Um, let's digitize an area, right? This is our new forest. And I'll just right click and say, well, the OGC FID should be 1000 and let's have a look. So now it looks like, oh, is it is it bordered or what has happened here, right? So use the lenders and we will have a look. So we first make the opacity go down to 50. And okay. And now you should see a borderline here, right? But there is none. And that's a cool thing here. So if you avoid or if you enable the avoid um, avoid overlap section and you create a new tool you will have the um, advantage that the, uh, that the new polygon will not intersect with the old one or with old ones so that's a very cool feature but let's have a look on another feature this simplify feature toolbar if you cannot see that or tool if you cannot see that um, this is part of the advanced digitizing toolbar over here it's gone there it is again and so the simplify feature tool allows you to simplify features oh what a surprise and if i click on this one you can see how this would look like after simplification and let's simplify another one let's simplify this one right let's have a look what happens if I play around with these values one pixel uh, one layer units well if I intend to simplify over simplify the feature let's go once again simplify feature here and say to one layer units a layer unit is degree here in this case this is just a very very easy polygon and you can play around with pixels so this is one pixel does not take too much um, simplification then if I increase it to 10 pixels then there are some vertices gone like this one if I go up to 100 or let's say 20 you might even see more vertices disappear and so you can play around with the with this tool but it will screw up your topology at all after you choose this tool so don't do this if you're not really sure what you are doing there. So this is a simplifying feature tool. Then there is another very important tool you need to use if you would like to digitize more complex features. Like this is a forest, right? This is a forest area, and there's I don't know, like um, there was cut it down some trees for grazing ground or whatsoever and you need to add a ring a ring means that you're cutting out a very um, a portion of the for or of this feature of this polygon now this is now a donut polygon it's also called but we will make sure to delete the ring now just click inside the ring and off you go then there's another way of in altering the polygonal geometry which is the add part let's assume that you have that this polygon has just type forest and the id is 72 due to some register and we would like to add a new part of the polygon so same id same um same type therefore select this one and say Add part. We will add a part here. This is now selected as well. And if we check for the features, they should be the same, right? So let's have a look here. Three five two zero. Identify three five two zero. So this is exactly the same feature. It just has an 
island polygon here and this is the main part so but we will remove that part now from the feature then sometimes you are not really yeah the the, the polygon itself was altered a lot so when we when we digitized here the the these vertices on the right edge of the polygon it took some time right and sometimes it is just a big burden so um, what you can do then you can say okay I would like to reshape the feature reshaping features is this tool so if you would like to cut into something just click outside the polygon digitize the part you would like to have and right click and then this part is cut it out great tool we will use the undo to undo our changes and then there's the add part function where you just first click into the uh, the area of choice then you digitize your new your new border right and then once again into the polygon right click and then you have extended this part and you're not you not needed to take care of the vertices that are inside the part and that's a big advantage of it because here we selected the vertice checked it for new location and so on so there was a lot of movement in the mouse or with the mouse and it's just awful in the end especially selecting the right vertex so this is a reshape function and um, adding a part and cutting out some part of the polygon and then there's a split feature tool what does split features do so let's assume you have or you can see this road here right so let's use this road to split the feature because we have crossed with the polygon over the road and we would like to split these features so use a split feature tool or right click there or click outside the polygon first then we will follow the line you can see there is some guidance for you we will now split the feature exactly at that line oh no not really exactly at the line but you see the difference now so if i go here to selecting i can select the right hand side and the left hand side and both share the same attributes so we have no change in the attributes as at all and we can rejoin them afterwards if we would like to do so so just select both of them and say well i would like to merge the selected features we will use all the values from the id minus eight there shouldn't be any difference between those and now they are back united if you have parts like the island over here and you would like to split this part from the main polygon or from from the minor polygon use a split parts tool and then now or now we have used this merge selected features tool that means that we are merging both the geometry and the attributes but sometimes you would like to uh, just take the attributes from something different to your original polygon and therefore you can use the um, merge attributes of selected features tool to merge not the geometry but the attributes so you are pick, cherry picking one attribute to your polygon and that's an easy way to digitize large areas where you share a lot of attributes like okay i don't want to type in type autobahn all the time i'm just merging um the information from another set 
of um, of attributes to my new uh, features. That's it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.